Well, this is new. Everyone, what about here? And welcome to Factorio Deep or Junk. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I got some things going on. <laughs> I got a lot of mods. Anyway, everyone, welcome to Factorio. It's been a while since I last played these games. This game? I don't know. I I love I love Factorio to death. I wish I could play it more often. Uh, it's always been one of those that uh, it. It's a game that, no matter how many times I play it, I will always want to play more. And that is just kind of inevitable. Uh, let's see, so let's just get that started. Probably, what's required for a basic, eh, let's go for a wood chest. Okay, so, I'll publish my mod list somehow later. I, I don't entirely know what I'm going to go with on this one, but I'm going to get enough wood that I can get some basic chests down. And we'll figure out, can that tree still process pollution? It probably can. Gosh, all the new changes in Factorio have been kind of incredible. Okay, so first things first, if you're familiar with my previous series on this game, I did do one solo series a while back on C-Block. I don't think I'm going to go back to C-Block anytime soon unless a friend of mine says, like, hey, let's do some C-Block together. Uh, but in the past, I've played Factorio multiplayer. I will not be doing multiplayer, at least for the beginning on this Mainly just because uh, I just don't have anybody immediately available to play with. And it's also one of those where it's kind of fun to just put my own time in. Okay, so I'm going to need some iron no matter what. So I guess I'm just going to sit here and do the really boring thing. I kind of wish there was a fast start button that just gave you a, a stack of 100 iron, coal, and copper just to work with. Maybe iron plates? I don't know. I'm not too greedy, but just something that skips this stage. Because this is very much go punch trees. Okay, question. Do we have any infinite iron? Mo okay, so we have a little bit of infinite iron there. I usually crank this stuff up pretty high. I don't really care to go out of my way to, like, hunt down the resources. I'd much rather just work on factory efficiency instead. Let's see. I also have construction drones. I don't really know how they function. I'm going to assume they will be useful. I guess let's start this boy. I don't have much going into it. Okay, there we go. This is going to take a, a little while. Man, I am not used to playing Factorio solo. That's okay. Anyway, so I will probably be doing solo for this. Maybe I will reach out to a couple of people, but I'm not betting on it just because this year has been kind of bad for a lot of people in my like immediate social circles, and so I don't want to bother them too much. Uh, what I might do is actually see if people want to do the wave defense mode. Because I was- I've- I've had my eye on that for ages, and if you know anything about me, hopefully- Well, I- I guess a lot of people probably would know this, but I'm a huge fan of tower defense games. I love base defense, I love turtling. And so there's a game coming out soonish called Riftbreaker that I'm really excited for. Uh, where it is Factorio, but you've got waves and waves of enemies coming at you, and it's a little bit more RTS-ish ish? I don't know. It's made by the people that made Exmorph, who are pretty good tower defense people. Uh, but it's it's one of those where it's not quite as deep as Factorio, and it obviously does not have the modding either. And so some amount of me is like, oh man, I, I can't wait to play this game. And the other part of me is like, yeah, but it's not Factorio. And so some someday I will, I will sit down and, and play through uh, the wave defense, and hopefully I can get some people on board for that one, because I feel like that hopefully will be a shorter, more focused experience. I know this is like a little peninsula, I just wanted to grab it on the map, so I guess really what I should do is just build a radar, unless I don't have them yet. Uh, let's see, man, they really, they really did some better sprites here, I like it. Uh, let's see, okay, so usual goal is rocket into space. I don't know if we're going to go past that point. I have a whole lot of different mods here. I've got a RPG mod, which should be kind of interesting. I, I'm i assuming most of this stuff isn't going to be that useful for me, but who knows. Okay, that should be enough. We might need some stone. You know what? That's exactly it. We need, we need a stone furnace. Well, we've got a little bit of stone here. So I'm probably just going to get a couple of coal furnaces going and we're just going to have them grab resources for me. I usually, like I said, I usually play this multiplayer, so having somebody else to uh, to butt monkey, grab iron, 
while I'm grabbing coal and so on and so forth. It's gonna be kind of fun tackling everything on my own because I'm always supervising when I'm playing this. I usually, it's, ah, uh, the first time I ever played Factorio, I played it with other people that knew more about the game than I did. And so I could just kind of rely on them. And now, now I am the master, kind of. Yep. I don't want that. Uh, can you go back there? Okay. And we don't have... Cool. All right, I've got a long reach mod on, so this is going to get kind of silly. Uh, let's see. Let's make a box. Yeah, what I'm probably going to want to do is get just a drill for each one of these basic resources. Uh, is that just going to give me stone? Yes. That, nah. Kind of hoping I could just have it pull from my inventory. But no dice. Okay. I've forgotten all the hotkeys to make this go faster. Okay, cool. So now these are automated, we can just kind of let them go. Ideally, I'd like to speed on to electric mining drills fairly quickly. I know I have electric furnaces and a bunch of other things, but I'm not on my side. Okay. So I guess I'm just going to butt monkey a lot of resources between each one of these. Let's see. Do I want to... I don't have any insert... Well, we could do the burner inserter arms, but that'd be a giant pain. Shoot. I don't know what a shoot does. <laughs> there's like there's a couple of these mods that I've just I've never looked into how they work. They are completely new to me. And so it's gonna be kinda of fun to learn learn as we go. Uh, let's see. Grab that. We've got iron. We're almost out of coal though. There we go. I guess I can just pull it from here. I got a long reach mod. I'm not actually sure how long of a reach it is. It's long, I know that. That's... Gosh. I'm dumb. <laughs> Alright, so... I think first and foremost, what we probably want to do... Is just get a uh, self-feeding... Mining system here. Especially for coal. Because the, the coal system always just funds itself. If done right. Okay, let's grab that. Do we have... We should have a couple of belts. Belts, burner inserters. Teaching other people how to set this system up is always kind of magic. Okay. Let's see, so I want to make two, probably two burner inserter arms. Uh, this is going to be super sloppy for a while. I just want to be able to fuel this on my own. Okay, cool. Got that. Got basics. I'm gonna need iron. Well, you got iron. Oof. This is pricey quickly. So in this case, would I actually want a second iron drill going. It's tempting. Fueling it, less fun. Let's let's skip that for a second. Okay. I'm gonna just do that. This ain't enough. Oh I've got I've got a little bit of coal on my my end. Okay, cool. Damn it. <laughs> ah, I remember how to play. Ah, there we go. Like I said, I remember how to play. Just, I, I, it is interesting how many different Factorio satisfactory style games that I have played over the years. You know what, let's actually, let's grab that. No matter what, these need to be able to... have resources going by, otherwise they're just slowly going to deplete themselves. And then we also have adjustable inserters, so I could actually mess with things a little bit. Okay, you're good, you just need more more iron. Keep this going. Keep you going. 
And with that, we at least have mild amounts of self-sufficiency. Automation? Because ideally, I, whenever I play these games, I want to do as little work as possible. I, that's how you should do it. I do sometimes get into that, that bad kick where I'm just sitting there doing... Ooh, mining drones. Mining depot. I want to try this. We got to get a lot of iron, but I'm curious how mining drones work. It's another one of the various mods I have, but maybe it actually works pretty well. Does it require electricity, though? Maybe it doesn't. All right. Well, we're going to need a lot of iron for this. Let's, let's get that process going. We've got some coal on the way. Should be enough to fuel most of this. Okay. I'm going to need some more plates for this. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can go mining drones, see what happens. I also have construction drones. I don't necessarily know how useful those are going to be. I just got them. It was a somewhat well-reviewed mod, and it's like, okay. I, I am not against trying a plethora of things. Okay. Right click, shift click. I got this. I can, I can remember thangs. That's, you got enough plates for one burner inserter arm? Yes. Ideally, we get enough iron that I can actually start moving it all over there. Uh, hmm. There we go. He's slight, it'll still back up. Okay, have some iron. Well, it's going a little faster. Yeah, let's, uh... Hmm, do we want to actually get a second one of these? Yeah, let's do that. Because I've got stone for days. We're going to need more coal, but, like, this whole system is self-feeding. So as I get almost... Well, as I get more of everything... It won't be as expensive. Okay, there we go. Iron box should fill up faster. Built a second. Do we actually... Yeah. Kind of? Probably better that I just continue to self-fuel these, or... Well, do I have another burner inserter arm? I'll sort of self-fuel these. burner inserter arm. It's just so slow. It tries. It tries its best. It'll do its thing. That's it. You got enough. You don't have any fuel. That should be enough for a while. Okay. Grab you. Get going. Grab some more iron. Okay. So... I guess next order of business is just getting a a bunch of burner mining drills. Yeah, there we go. Okay, how much iron are we looking at? Still not that much. I'm impatient. I wanna I wanna get onto the fun stuff. That's that's always the case. But here I am. I guess I could help? But that's... Helping is for other people. I'm here to watch, and I'm here to micromanage. You should see me when I when I do Mastorio. I don't think I've ever actually put Mastorio up on YouTube. Let's see. So we want to have these go back in. I have these pointed right, right? Yes. Right. I can just do control click and pull off of these. Yes. I am remembering. These are, these are important parts. I should make a shoot and figure out how they work. In a bit. Okay. That's going. So all we need to do, grab the coal off this, dump it in here. Alright, and that should self-fuel all of these. I don't remember if there's an easy way to dump coal in. Well... Is 
for that? No. I don't think there's an easy way for me to dump coal in these. Then again, these should fuel themselves, so I guess I shouldn't... I should reserve all of my spare coal for the other stuff. Okay. Well, now we've got some iron. Let's start saving up for the mining drones. I want to see how this goes. We'll make one, and we'll make a mining depot and see if it requires electricity. Because if we're lucky, it doesn't. At least... Yeah, I actually have no idea. How does a mining drone work? It looks like I have to put them into the mining depot. So I can't just skip steps here. Okay, do we want to make, want to make another furnace? We've probably got enough for it at this point. Okay, that's a problem. Let's see. Maybe one sort of configuration. So we want to do... There we go. Okay, should work. Fuel these back up. Ooh, yeah, they're running dry. Okay, how much iron are we looking at? That, oh, I'm at 62. So we're not quite there. Okay, let's get you going. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I realize and recognize this is all super ugly. But, I mean, who has, like, the prettiest start to a Factorio run? I'm sure, I'm sure there are YouTubers out there who, please do not immediately start just dumping lists of names of people that are better better than me. That is that is actually like the root of half of my my issues when it comes to doing this job is like, hey Wander, check out this person that's better than you. And it's like, thanks. That that really that makes me feel like a, a valid individual. Hey. It's also super weird playing this without streaming. I don't think I've ever played Factorio Oh, no, no, no. I did once. I was, uh, I was playing with my brother. And my dad. Holy shit. What the hell? Alright. Let's get some iron up in here. Okay. Mine iron. Iron with sulfuric acid. Iron. Go. Is that just how this works? I'll bite. This sounds fascinating. I... It might be kind of cheesy, but the idea of just a bunch of these robo-dudes... I mean, he got ten. Robo-dudes, no fuel costs, just out mining. I, I... I think I'm gonna do it. This is what happens whenever I get... I, I'm allowed to mod games. Is I just break it in whatever the best way I possibly can. And it's always good. People might disagree, but I'm gonna have fun with this army of little mini-me's running around mining the hell out of everything. Oh, they're gonna be like locusts. It's gonna be so good. Alright, I'm gonna keep these going for at least for a little while, but we're rapidly approaching the points where I actually uh, could probably just say like, eh. To mining drills. We're gonna skip the entire entirety of electric mining drills and go straight to uh stupid robo man. <laughs> oh, they each only mine one, so oh no. <laughs> Alright. I am looking forward to this. So we should probably automate this sooner than later. Rip up what I've got. Yeah, let's start doing that. Because this mining depot is going to be a lot faster. Zero. Uh, let's see. Ideally, 
Zero pollution. Okay. So we don't have a splitter. This is pointless. Why did I do this? I'm going to have to fuel these arms once we get electricity, and I could probably get that set up pretty quick. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I've got fuel for days on these. Pick up all of this stuff. It's not here. Okay, so we want to have... Oh, I guess I was right, actually. We do want to have this big snaky thing going. All right. Just guarantee we have enough iron. It's hideous. I love it. Let's just load these up so I don't have a bunch of iron sitting around in my inventory. Okay, there we go. So now we have a little bit of iron, a little bit of coal. Let's grab some out of this box. Uh, let's see. There we go. I do have the splitting system. So hopefully this will pull from the coal there and keep it going. Iron plates. Yeah. Grab the last of the coal. So, I think we immediately are going to have to start going for electricity. This is going to become immediate issues. Uh, let's see. I guess let's let's give this some room. Eh? Okay, went into the first one. I guess it didn't go into the second. It's fine. Put this off. Punch you. That's just here. All right. So we've got that going. It sucks. I hate it, but it's enough. So now we got to figure out electricity sooner, sooner than later. I know there's the electric boiler, but if I remember right, the electric boiler is, like, hilariously meaningless. Oh. You actually have to fuel that thing. For it to do any, any work. Okay. Oh, you're out of... You know what? We've probably got enough stone sitting around. Yeah, we've got more than enough stone sitting around for a little while. You know, yeah, in, in retrospect, I can just have a bunch of these. How much are you up? Holy shit, that's good. <laughs> just those four dude men. Alright, uh, let's see. Well, let's get let's get electricity going. We're going to need a couple of pipes. Two of these, no matter what. Where's my offshore pump? Oh, they changed it. They changed how it looks. Okay. So I've got a couple of immediate options here. We're, uh, let's start with electricity first, and then figure out the plan. But I, I'm thinking, just getting a bunch of those robo-dudes to just strip mine things, because I can pick them up and move them around. Uh, it's going to be so much easier cleaning up my, my mining fields once they're done. So we might want to just build, like, the mining depot? No, no, no. We don't want to make a singular mining depot. That... That's, that's silly. I don't want that. But making one wouldn't be a terrible idea. Like, having a secondary mining thing, uh, a mining depot just to get coal to feed into the power system. That, that's got, that's got legs. Okay. Let's make a stone furnace. Quick. So that's not it. How much iron are we sitting on? 
decent amount. Yeah, why don't we... Why don't we actually just disregard this giant pollution mess? And utilize just nothing but robo miners. Lumpurus is gonna get mad at me for this, but I don't care. Oh, it's so good. Alright, that should be that. Let's. Let's do mine coal. Alright, there's your single dude man. Let's tear all this up. We should we should have enough coal. I love it. I normally whenever I play this game I think there's some on the ground. Normally whenever I play this game, there's kind of this feeling of like Well, okay, I play it mostly with the fan base, with you guys, essentially. I haven't done a Mastorio in a little while, but normally it's kind of this weird feeling of playing with a bunch of robots that are doing my bidding. And I've I've always wanted some means of properly realizing that? I, I don't necessarily know how I want to say this. We gotta get splitters. Yeah, we don't have them. I'm curious how a shoot works. Let's build one shoot and figure out. Waiting for source items. Oh. Oh. No, it works. Question. Are shoots really cool? They are. So, what shoots are are effectively an alternative means of pulling resources out of something without needing an inserter. So for this, for example, I could just have the, the shoot outputting instead of the burner inserter arms. I love it. Yeah, let's tear these up. Because this is a thousand times more efficient and effective for me. They might be kind of slow, either that or that's just how the animation works. I'm not entirely sure. I'm assuming there's a higher tier shoot as we go along. Okay, well let's let's do that real quick. So other uh there's a couple of kind of rad things. I wonder if shoots can be used as a splitter. Probably probably not. I don't think so. No. They can they can only input onto one of these lines. But still, I I like where that's going. That has that has some neat potential. Okay. And I know there's there's like loaders or feeders or something that's like separate that I can also get. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that back up. Okay, so in that case... We need electricity. I think the easiest thing I'm going to be able to do here... Grab that. We'll grab two of these. Never did make the offshore pump, did I? Well, now I've got a lot more resources to work with. So, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited. This is... This is doofy. In the best kind of way. Okay, so this will this will give me the copper required. We only needed three. There we go. Alright, so this will get us the offshore pump. Grab the iron. We're gonna need another arm there, but once we have electric electricity, it shouldn't be as big of a deal. Okay, offshore pump. Boiler. 
steam engine, steam engine. Okay. We're also going to need power poles. I don't have any co copper wire. Well, we might want to make a couple of these things. Okay. One way or another, secondary... Do I really want a secondary coal mine? You no. Know, you know what? I've already got a coal mine. This one's going to back up really fast. So let's just have two lines coming off of this thing instead. Slightly less waste? Maybe. Definitely going to be utilizing a lot of my... Uh, going to be making a lot of transport belts, but that's okay. And we'll just wrap it around. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with copper. Luckily, I'm blessed with some other really big deposits all over the place, so it shouldn't be that bad. Okay, look at those belts come in. I don't know if my guys can mine through the belts, nor am I sure if they're going to be affected by the belts. So, I'm going to... I'm going to hope... Well, I'm just going to disregard it, instead of, like, hoping that they're not. Oh, that'll be more efficient for me. We are definitely going to need some more furnaces. Dang, are we? Ooh. Oh, this will this will get efficient eventually. Uh, let's see, what was I going to do? Right, I was going to make some shoots. Actually. I think I'm going to just put shoots on my... Let's see, two more? Yeah. I'm just going to put shoots on these. We're at, today, if this is... I did not expect today to be a day of shoots and ladders. Well, uh, shoots and... It's just shoots. But it is. And it feels good. These, these shoots are, are my new calling. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm filling space. Okay. Load them up. Alright, so this should give us a lot better coverage. Coverage? Collection? Alright, that's some iron plates. Let's make some more transport belts. Because, yeah, ideally what I'd like to do is have a giant coal line that extends all the way over here. And feeds the setup. I don't think I can use shoots for it. Maybe maybe you can use shoots as a, a inserter as well, but only if you feed a belt into it. I, I don't know. I'll have to mess with it. We're going to need splitters before I can really do that sort of thing anyway, so it's not as important. Dang, we're going to need lights, aren't we? I know whenever I play this game, everybody's like, it's too dark at night. And for me, like, I can kind of make it out. But yeah, if you're just casually watching this, I can absolutely see why it being really, uh, really dark is kind of a major issue. Get out of here, Vox. Holy shit, I have not leveled up yet. I'm assuming I'm not really going to level up <laughs> 12 EXP. <laughs> Ooh. I, be I bet I'm not going to level up until way later. I'm probably just going to invest in, like, armor bonus and damage bonus until I'm, like, a combat machine. Question. Hell yeah. Alright, so I can pull things from that chest from a distance. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we have a decent amount of iron. Iron coming in? Yeah. So let's uptick that a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like we're going to need some, need some more iron. I'll just, uh, I'll just make some more mining, boys. Beauty, beauty part about this, considerably less pollution. Kind of? Kind of. Get out there, boys. <laughs> I 
It's so silly looking. I love it. Like whoever came up with this mod, genius. Uh, let's see. So next up, probably do the same thing with copper. We've already got a coal line that I can probably pull from. We might need some more mining boys though, on coal. So let's let's do that before I mess myself up too bad. Okay. Now it's gonna take a little bit to get the mining depots, but yeah, then we'll get then we'll get that. And then we'll be good. The one thing we might want to do for better strip mining on a on a later mining depot is actually have two of them in like the middle of a field to cut down on travel times. Maybe. Maybe there's upgrades on on mining boys. Maybe there isn't, I don't know. It's I don't think it's gonna change my behavior at this point. We're just we're just gonna have a field full of these guys eventually, and it's going to be so silly looking. Give me loot. Give me iron. I need some copper boys. I don't want to mine anything by hand. We've already made the depot, right? Yes. Oh, shoot. I apparently have a spare. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just put it over here. Actually, let's let's put it butt up. What am I what am I doing? Close as possible. Least amount of travel time. Okay, so let's just do copper, get in there. Okay. Too close. Apparently. I gotta give them a little bit of space. Wait, is that... Did he die? He died! <laughs> okay, so there's the mining boy. Oh, they even changed their color based on what they're mining. I didn't know that. That's cool. Alright, yeah. Let's, let's get some copper up in here. Yeah, so we, we can only do one recipe at a time, but I guess it would be kind of strong if you could do it any other way. Uh, let's see. Shoots. Three. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just have a jury rigs copper line. I'll probably diversify once we have electricity and move out to one of the bigger, bigger fields. But this is okay. Let's take a look at, uh, oh, they changed this? Pollution. How bad are we? Uh, it's not too bad. I'd like to cut it down. Let's see. Hey, we got electric poles. Start with that. Uh, let's see. There's no easy way for me to. Axe this. Is there? Nope. Alright. Let's just start mining from the other side. This is ugly. Yeah, I'll, I'll tear this whole thing up. Later. Let's see. We need a lot of belts. Definitely, definitely gonna want to make a system where I can automate belt production sooner than later. Okay, there we go. Basic furnace. And I guess I'll have to use the burner and service. I don't wanna. Oh, but I don't need a, another burner inserter. 
Or maybe I do. Because I'm pretty sure I can't do a shoot into a chest. Time to find out. No. There are loaders, there are mini loaders that I can get. But it doesn't it doesn't work for this. Which is a tragedy. I wonder if that'll feed itself off of the coal. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, one way or another, we got some basic copper plate production. That's all we needed. Let's see, so I should have a bunch of these. Perfect. I don't know why it's so important for me to follow, like, a specific grid when I'm laying down power poles, but... It is an obsession. Okay, let's plunk this here. Actually, these can all be burner mining. Well, they could be. Here. These should not be those anymore. We need some more copper. That's enough, hopefully. Oh, we already had a couple. Perfect. Okay. So I'll probably rip this entire thing up and reorganize it for proper setup. In fact, we can even get it... Uh, we can even start making electric furnaces pretty quick. Now, they do put out pollution. Less, though. Okay, yeah, super worth it. Let's go back here. Gonna have to cut down a bunch of trees. It'll be worth it. Okay, uh, let's see, you. Just start expanding this over here, because we're gonna need a lot more copper wire. Of behaviors. Okay, so actually, we can pick this up immediately. Because I should be able to make at least one copper electric setup here. Uh, let's grab a bunch of this. Okay. So we want to go electric furnace. We only have enough for one. Oh. <laughs> I think it's because lack of iron. But now no longer lack... Iron is no longer an issue. Bang. Okay. Uh, let's see. How how much do I want to build on this grid? How mental am, do I need to be on this run? And how much can I actually just be like a totally sane person? Oh, it's it's so tempting to just like use nothing but a giant grid of wooden power poles. I could probably do it. Yeah, because that, that's still powered there. Yes. Okay. This works. And we've got shoots for all of them. Let's see. Obviously, we're going to have to do the switcheroo, but it's worth it. Let's see. There we go. And here we go. So the only issue is... <coughs> I realize... We don't have... Yeah, there's no power here. Okay. Well... Easier than that, then. Let's tear this, this whole thing up. Proof of concept, good. 
execution needed some work. Let's just have him on this side. Oh, there, there's always going to be one that is slightly off. Either that or we just do sets like that. That should be, that should be fine. All right. Make a bunch of these. So here's the thing. Yeah, now, now we're within Power Town. All right. Life is good pick up all of these. And now we've got a bunch of electric furnaces outputting copper. It's a bit ugly. But it does what I need it to do. At least for now. I will probably utilize or move this around at a later date. The only problem is balancing this is going to be nightmarish. I guess if I had... Eh. Eh. Later. This isn't, e this isn't even my, my final setup. So let's, let's just get a couple more electric inserter arms. Let's see. I guess what we're gonna, going to need to do is, no matter what, I have to put, like, iron chest rid of that. Wooden chest nice. Iron chest nicer. There we go. Make a bunch of these. There we go. Okay, so this will give me my copper production. At least until I'm willing to expand it. And that'll probably come with automation. This is just kind of a nice way of having a bunch of copper plates with almost no overhead. Because it's pure electric, no minimal pollution. Let's go back and do the same thing to the iron setup. Because yeah, the, the less less of these we have puffing, the less pollution we have, the less, the less aliens are going to want to just come bite my face off. Then we can actually figure out other things to do with myself. Hey! Also looks like, uh, probably gonna need some more mining drones. My, never mind, it's not the mining drones that are the problem, it's you. I was wondering why we were outputting so little. Okay, so let's, let's break this. We, we've, yeah, we've got iron. Probably take a look at my like electrical setup. No, I mean it's it's good now. Yes, destroy everything, replace everything with good iron. Oh, I guess the other thing is I don't even have to have it here. Well, do we want to do that? Tear the whole thing up, move elsewhere, have some more space. Oh, you have no idea how tempting that is. Let's do that real quick. One, two, three, four. Let's rotate this. Have this go around. Okay. This should be good. So now we have bucket loads of iron that are just going to be coming out of this thing. I did not realize this is storing this much. Damn. Okay. Uh, so. There is no reason to balance any of this either, is there? <laughs> we can just do whatever we want. Because the whole thing is going to be outputting at a balanced value always. That's how this... Oh, wow. What an insane setup. I love it. Okay. So, in that case, we've got a bunch of... We've got a bunch of these. Let's... Let's go up here.
and do what we did earlier with the sets of electric furnaces. Okay, I need need some more copper. We should have plenty. Yep, that's plenty. Look at that. gotta go here okay so if this inputs to this this inputs to this and then we have a bunch of shoots coming out of this thing we got some industry on our hands it's still not necessarily primo i i will have to uh i will have to do some work getting this to work properly but like look at how neat and clean this is and then at some point we will go over to the other mining fields and get them set set up properly i'm gonna need some wood yep no it's fine hmm. only immediate problem i'm seeing we don't actually have enough space for this here. Ah! <laughs> well, is what it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll just... This will be good enough for now. We're just gonna we're just gonna have these output into iron boxes all now. I'll figure out how to manage this line better. We might even move it up. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you know I said I wish there were more starting resources and whatnot. I bet I can mine this. It ain't much. Yeah, so a lot of this stuff is actually just nothing. But some of the bigger stuff? Maybe it, maybe it's worth more. No? No? Okay, so yeah, it's it's a smid a smidge of iron. Dang. Some of the, some of this has has value, but I think most of it is just trash. This is worth bullets. I kind of want to just leave the spaceship. I'm going to leave it there. I mean, it's a bit of a shame to just have it sitting in the middle of the base, but I, I like it from a decorative element. Okay, so I, I am very positive about how this is going. This is going to take some, some doing to get the rest of it working, but that's fine. Hi, we have, we have a lot of these. This is one point. 1.1. Let's over, overwrite that one. All right, cool. Well, we're on our way. And I'll be back later tonight, I guess, with a uh, proper stream of this as opposed to me just kind of playing it on my lonesome. I just wanted to get an episode set up for launch day. So, for those of you watching this, if you've never played Factorio before, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, it is, unless they drop the price for a launch day sale, and I kind of doubt they have, uh, it's 30 bucks, and it is worth every penny. If you get into this, you will be playing this for years. It's just like RimWorld. Okay, there we go. It's also one of those games that it's like one more thing all it takes and that's truly a sign of a really good game so i guess uh if you guys like this episode in any way shape or form leave me a like helps more than you know and if you want to see more factorio uh stick around because i really sincerely would like to do a full solo series on this and then maybe we do the uh the wave defense one because that that just sounds like it would be real fun but for now See you next time, and as always, thanks for watching.